How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me in the comments and then also in my game live streams, which you should definitely check out, if you should actually sell your current NVIDIA Pascal cards to uh, buy one of these uh, new RTX Turing uh, GPUs that NVIDIA just recently announced. And now, we didn't really have a lot of information to go on at the launch date because NVIDIA didn't show any FPS benchmarks or anything like that. They kind of just talked about the Turing architecture. That's kind of it and how cool ray tracing looks, which it does really look awesome. But now, after the press release, uh, people were able to actually go check out the cards, play some games, and uh, see how the ray tracing technology actually looked. And at one of the booths, they were showing off Shadow of uh, the Tomb Raider playing on an RTX 2080 Ti, only getting around 30 to 70 FPS at 1080p, not even 4K 1080p, but with a ray tracing enabled. And because of that low frame rate, people kind of started to lose their stuff. But we should also remember that is with ray tracing enabled. And if you compare that to a current uh, 10 series GPU, the 10 series GPU would suck so much compared to the new RTX cards. Uh, so we have to keep that in mind. And then also the game is not fully released yet. It's still being developed and there's not really drivers out yet. So it's not really a complete build. So it's not fair. Uh, but still, we would have liked to see a bit a better performance there, even from a thousand dollar graphics card. But now just before continuing with everything else, uh, I just want to clarify something. Everybody that's comparing uh, the 2080 Ti to the 1080 Ti and uh, the 2080 to the 1080 Ti, that isn't a fair comparison because we have to look at the price ranges as well. The 2080 Ti is the new Titan. Even though it's it's numbered as like the gaming card, it's uh, not classified as a a fair comparison to the current gaming cards. It's compared more towards the Titan for the price range. And then also we did see that the Titan wasn't really classified as a gaming card, but it was built on the same platform. So in effect, it was kind of a gaming graphics card. So just kind of get that out of the way. And most of the people won't pay a thousand dollars plus for a 2080 Ti. So just kind of get that out of the way. We're gonna focus more on the, the main or the main focus for the cards. And that is the 2080. And then also everybody comparing uh, the RTX 2080 to the GZX 1080. That also isn't a fair comparison. We have to look at the price range as well. And then also uh, we, if we compare new generation top of the dock cards, forget about the 2080 Ti. The current top of the dock card, the, 10, the 2080, uh, when we compare that to the previous top of the dock, and that is the 1080 Ti. And like I mentioned in my previous video, uh, the specs for the current 1080 Ti is better than the 2080. So I just want to clarify all of that before continuing. And also everybody is wondering about the 2070. We don't really have any information about that so far yet. Uh, benchmarks and anything else. We just have the specs that the video released. So that will come later on. Now, after about two days, NVIDIA released a graph showing the performance difference between the 2080 and the 1080. Now, they didn't show FPS, they only showed a uh, the percentage difference between the cards, uh, where we saw that it was around a 50% to 100% uh, FPS increase at 4K with a DLLS, which is Deep Learning Super Sampling Enabled. Now, 30% isn't really that amazing because again, the GTX 1080 Ti is around 30% plus faster than a current 1080, especially in 4K. So that graph doesn't really show us much. Comparing the 2080 to the 1080, it's not fair. They should have added in the 1080 Ti and then we would have seen that there wasn't really that big of a performance increase. Uh, my prediction is like 10% or so on uh, with DLLS not enabled. 
I really want to see more of this DLLS and how it actually affects the game's quality and then also FPS. So we will have to wait and see for that. I really think that's something that could make a big of a difference. Uh, but currently, if that's not enabled, then the performance difference, I don't really think it's going to be that massive. Now before the release of the new cards there were rumors and then also a lot of us wanted to see that the new cards were going to be able to play 4k at 144 hertz on a AAA title. Now CSGO and Overwatch they don't really count because they're not really graphics intensive and to see that something like the 2080 wasn't even able to get over 100 fps at 4k that was a bit of a bummer it's not the biggest problem because it's on like two monitors that can support 144 hertz and not even proper 144 hertz so it was a bummer but it wasn't really the biggest drawback yet we'll just have to wait until the next generation for that uh, and also the monitors will need to catch up first now in this video and then also in the previous video it might sound like i'm kind of crapping on the rtx cards and that honestly is not the case i would have liked to see more uh, fps but nvidia tried to move to something else here they want to push the graphic that much further than what it is currently at the moment and the, kind of the only way to do that is to add with the ray tracing technology what we see with like the Battlefield 5 ray tracing a trailer a video, the shadows and the lighting all of that, it can play a massive, a massive difference to make the game just look that much better. And if we bump up the resolution and so on, it wouldn't really make that a big of a difference. We have to add in the lighting and the shadows and it's something that we kind of sometimes take for granted. But like uh, subconsciously, we will see that and it's just going to make the game look amazing. So NVIDIA is trying to push to, towards uh, that. Uh, if it is, is kind of a sacrifice that they, they went for there, uh, but they're going to make the game's looks look so amazing uh, later on. Now, it might not be with uh, this uh, generation or th these new graphics cards. I do think that it's probably going to take until uh, the next generation for the games and everything to catch up to ray tracing. Uh, so these ones, it's a bit of a bummer, but I still think the video is kind of moving into the right direction. And through that, we are going to see a crazy increase in a graphics and how everything looks. Now, also everything that I went over now is only for gaming. Uh, again, like I said in my launch video for productivity, like CGI and then 3D design, there these cards might really make a big difference. Now, I don't really know a lot about that, that world, so I can't really say everything, but I do kind of believe that these new cards will make a bigger difference there than in the gaming world. And then also for everybody who's asking about the, the 2060, uh, there are going to be the GTX cards and not ray tracing because they probably would have been powerful enough to handle everything. Uh, so we will have to wait and see how they perform. If they might make a bigger difference compared to their counterparts uh, and if you should rather go for those than what what else is there and then also there's the the new sly or not really sly anymore uh they're calling it what nvidia link now we'll have to see how that also performs and if they perhaps add that to the 2060 so now that's pretty much it for just my quick run on of the new cards as well uh, if you haven't seen my previous video, definitely go check that out. Also, if you want to pre-order uh, these new cards, if you live in South Africa, Rebel Tech uh, do have them. And the prices, it, it's high, but it's not too bad, especially if you compare it to a lot of the other ones out there. So you can go pre-order them now. Uh, and then also, if you want to on, on Amazon and so on, uh, I don't think it's out on Amazon even. Everything else is, is completely sold out. So uh, you can... Go check them out if you want to pre-order them i wouldn't necessarily recommend it because we still have to see how they perform but they are there you can go pre-order them so that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys uh if you want me to do more of these let me know down in the comments below and also like share subscribe and comment and also push that bell icon uh, it's the first time I'm actually saying that so yeah thanks for watching guys and i will check all of you next time cheers guys